Hey everyone and welcome. My name is Sam. I'm a natural bodybuilder and a physique coach and I think you're going to absolutely love this video. I'm going to be sharing with you what I've been doing to develop one of the weaker points on my physique, which is my side delts. When we have very well developed side delts, it helps to really accentuate our upper body's V taper. So for my own personal natural bodybuilding goals, this is a really important area of focus for me leading into my next competition season, which is gonna be in 2026. My hope is in sharing this with you that some of these ideas, some of the, the my exercise selection and what I'm doing and, and why I'm doing it are concepts and ideas that you can think about, maybe apply to your own training that could help you develop your own shoulders if you wanna work on your upper body V taper and look basically like Ronnie Coleman. The second topic of this video, and you're definitely gonna wanna stick around for this, is I'm gonna share with you my all-time favorite meal when dieting for fat loss. Wow. The meal is sweet, ultra delicious, it's filling, it's high in protein, it's relatively low calorie dense. It's basically everything you could possibly want when you're dieting for fat loss. Everything the body needs. I don't wanna give it away. Just make sure to stick around for the end of the video and I'll show you exactly what it is. It's really easy to put together too. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm really excited about this, so here we go. I'm starting off with this very interesting superset combination where I start with these dumbbell lateral raises and then immediately move to the machine behind me there, which is a machine overhead press. I first received the suggestion to try this combination by Jeff Alberts, and since I've been doing it, I've been really liking it. The theory is you start with the lateral raises and expose your side delts to a ton of stimulus and, and fatigue, and then you move right over to the machine press where you increase the probability that your delts are going to be the limiting factor of the movement and not another muscle group, like your triceps. And because we're trying to build huge, bolder shoulders, this is probably pretty desirable. I've been really liking the feel of this combination as well as even when I'm just part way through the superset, it feels like my, my delts are just going to melt right off of the bone where I, there's just so much tension and metabolic stress and that burning kind of a fiery feeling exactly where I want it. If I use that as any kind of an indicator that I'm getting lots of stimulus for muscle growth, it's certainly looking really positive as far as technique goes both for the lateral raises and the overhead presses, I'm trying to really keep it in the pocket. I like to imagine that if someone were to look at me and kind of just glance over at what I'm doing from the other side of the gym, they would immediately think like, wow, he's really got it under control. So I want it to look like I've got it under control and I want it to feel like I've got it under control. I move a little bit slower on the way down on the eccentric and then I move a little bit more explosively on the way up the concentric. It's explosive, but still under controlled. And then I'll pause for a second or two at the bottom of each rep. The reason for that being the main reason being in that position, that's where our delts are as elongated and as stretched out as they can be in that movement or in this movement. And they're under a lot of tension, a lot of stress in that spot. And that's shown to be incredibly stimulative for muscle growth. So again, because we're trying to build huge delts, that's probably exactly what we want to be doing. I want to note, I do this, these supersets, I do three of them in each session that I do them and I do them every other session. I have a full body training split and I train my shoulders, my delts every day. So I do that. I do the supersets. I do that every other day. And then I do this machine lateral raise on the alternating three days a week. Couple things with these lateral raises. As far as technique goes, I try to just like the superset exercises, I try to keep it really in the pocket. Uh, move with control faster on the way up, 
a little slower on the way down. The interesting thing that I'm doing here is just like the supersets, I'll do three sets of these for each session that I do them. But after each working set, I'll add a drop set where I'll reduce the amount of weight by about 30 pounds, three increments, and I'll do as many reps as I can. The reason for that being, it's my hope that that's adding just a little bit more stimulus for muscle growth. It's worth mentioning that there's research that shows that drop sets might not be as productive as we'd hope them for them to be. And they, in some instances, could actually be counterproductive because they're so fatiguing and they can be very damaging they might lead to an overaccumulation of fatigue and damage that actually offsets the amount of st extra stimulus that you could get from doing them. So in short, it might actually not be the best idea to do these. I think that it's okay that I'm doing them because I'm recovering just fine between training sessions that I, that I do do them. And also too, I like them because of the feel. Um, a lot of my training goes by how I feel and I just feel so much tension and stress in that fiery feeling exactly where I want it that I think it's doing the trick. And there you have my delt training. I want to note that if you're someone that hasn't had much trouble building your your delts, doing what you have been doing as far as your exercise selection goes, you've just been doing straight sets and things have been working just fine for you, then it you might not need to try any of this stuff. In fact, it might be optimal that you don't because if it ain't broke, why fix it? That being said, if you do want to try some of this stuff, I'll be really curious to hear what you think. So if you give it a shot, let me know in the comment section if it worked really well for you. If you could feel extra tension on your delts, if you start to notice like you get a better pump, you start to notice some more muscle growth progress, let me know. I would love to hear. I think it's important also to note that the reason why I'm doing this stuff, like these interesting superset combinations and all of these different drop sets is because my delts have, I think, been a little bit of a, a trouble spot on my physique. So I'm introducing some of these kind of extended techniques to my training approach in hopes that that might be what it takes to add a little bit more muscle growth progress on this, this trouble spot. To be honest, I'm not sure how productive this actually is and how lucrative it's going to be for my results. We'll, we'll get to see by the time I get to my next competition season, but I'm very hopeful that it is something that's working quite well because of how it feels. And because I think, I think I am seeing some positive visual changes. It does look like I might be getting a little bit bigger around my, my shoulders, my delts the way that I want to. So fingers crossed it is working. There you have it. As promised, I'm going to share with you my absolute favorite meal of all time when dieting for fat loss. In fact, I love it so much, I eat it all the time even when I am not dieting for fat loss. Wow. The reason why I love it so much, or the reasons, is one, it's super delicious, really, really tasty. Two, it's very satiating, very filling. Three, it's relatively low calorie dense, so I can eat a large quantity of it for relatively few calories, so it's easy to fit into my caloric parameters for my fat loss phase. And four, it's also just really convenient and easy to put together. There you have it, so enjoy.
and here we have the finished product. The texture is really cool. Parts of it are kind of sponge-like, like here, like kind of like a spongy cake. And other parts are like a thick chocolate shake kind of a texture. And that's really how I think of this. It's almost like it's a hot chocolate shake slash cake slash hot melted ice cream. And to be clear, the flavors in this are, I used the Legion Dutch chocolate flavor. It is super delicious with a little bit of the cocoa powder as well. It's fantastic. So you can try the, the recipe yourself. You can also play around with the portions. If you want to decrease the calorie content of the meal, you can do things like uh, reduce the amount of oat flour, which will change the texture a little bit. You'll have more of this like thick, thick milkshake kind of a texture and less of the thick spongy kind of a texture, which actually can be really good. You could also, if you want more protein, you can add more protein powder. You can change the kind of liquid that you use. So I used unsweetened cashew milk. You can also use like unsweetened almond milk or like Fairfield uh, ultra filtered skim milk. That can work really well too. And just kind of fool around with the macro breakdown, change the calories that way. It'll change the texture and the flavor slightly of the meal along with different flavored protein powders if you want. But it can work really well just to kind of fool around and see what flavors work best for you. And there you have my all-time favorite meal when fat loss dieting. So I've never actually shared this little concoction, this recipe with anyone else before. So you're the first to know. This is the first time I'm sharing this. I'd love to know what you think about it. So if you do try it, I'm really curious. Let me know in the comments if you think, like me, it is the most delicious meal out there. Aside from that, I wanna say big thank you for joining me in this video. I hope that you got a lot out of it. It gave you some ideas, some things to work with a little bit. If you like the video, please like it. If you wanna to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, there's gonna be more to come. Please go ahead and do so. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.